I'm going to play. I'm not trying to get in trouble. But man, it's, it's, it was funny. It was funnier than Chris Rock special. I'll say that. I watched the Office Marathon yesterday at work. It's not my thing. Eh, might not be your, your sense of humor. You, you might not have worked in an office ever in your life. You might not know that type of... <laughs> nah, that don't matter. It's just... Like, it's crazy because without the office, there would never be uh, Abbott Elementary. There wouldn't be a uh, Parks and Recreations. There wouldn't be a... Uh, what's something else that does the same type of... Same type of swag. Um, oh, Modern Family. All of these TV shows that are like literally using the same format of the office where they're not really necessarily even explaining why the cameras are fucking there and they're talking to these people like it's a reality TV show. A lot of those, like these shows, they all get it from The Office. And mind you, The Office is a remake of a, a UK show called The Office. Right? There's, there's two versions of The Office. Right? There's a lot, which happens a lot within um, television. But yeah, The Office was like a trendsetter for a lot of these shows. So like, it, it might not be your sense of humor, because especially when it came out, I was young. When The Office came out? I think I was young as fuck when The Office came out. And I always seen it on TV and shit. I just never gave it a shot. But then once I started, like, I guess, maturing my sense of comedy a little bit, I started trying a bunch of shit that I used to never pay attention. Like, super bad. All my friends used to always be like, yo, you got to see super bad. I'm like, man, fuck out of here. I don't want to see no, no shit like that. And then years after the fact, I finally was like, let me give it a chance. One of the funniest fucking movies I ever saw. I used to love Reno 911. Yep, same type of giant. Like the fake cops. I ain't gonna run. Niecy Nash was finding a mother. Maybe that's just me. I don't know why. I'm not seeing them, them cakes on the screen. I was like, look at Niecy Nash. Niecy ass. Um, Ricky Jeffs. Yeah, he was in the original office. But yeah, it's just a mockumentary type of giant and is based in the office. So a lot of the humor is more towards people that align within that, that realm. It's kind of like why I like the Abbott Elementary show is because even if you've never been like a teacher, you've been a student. So you relate to some kind of aspect of it. So I think that's where they, it's kind of like evolution, right? There's no way anyone could tell me that the creator of Abbott Elementary, which if I'm not mistaken, was Quinta B, someone who came from YouTube and Instagram. Always fucking going to mention that because I think that's amazing. But there's no way you can tell me she didn't watch The Office or Hawks and Recreations and things like that and get inspired. Shit, if I ever come out with a TV show or get the fucking chance to write and produce, more than likely, one of my shows is going to be mockumentary. It's like a fake documentary. Shit, if I do the BX Beast Boy movie or some shit, I might do it in that format. But it's going to be crazy because it's, it's, certain scenes are going to be like a horror movie. Well, I'm going to just cut to the back room giving fucking my take on things like I'm on a reality TV show. But yeah, it's classic. Classic. Plus, I don't know where you, you started from. Did you start from episode one or did you just fall into it? I don't think falling into something is a good way to fall into to like actually get into it, that falling into it never fucking works out. I remember when I tried to show somebody at a job I used to work years ago, Atlanta. When Atlanta first came out, I tried to show some. I'm like, yo, this shit funny, yo, man, this shit's crazy. I put it on at the job, yo. We sitting there. This is the most morbid fucking episode that ever happened where scary shit is going on. Nigga looked at me like, I thought you said this show was funny. I was like, yeah, I, I thought this show was funny too. Apparently, this is different, different. Um, still an amazing episode, but it was like deep. So like, it's never a good idea to just jump in in the middle of some shit. You never know. So yeah, definitely, you need to start in the office from episode one. There was a baby. There was a baby. Oh no, that's crazy. I don't even know what you're talking about. I started from episode one. I only made it like two to three episodes in and I like this so far. I was like, this is kind of funny. <laughs> I wanted to see once I get to like know the characters more. When when is Patrice O'Neill gonna come into it? Like shit like that. Um 
Hold on, guys. I'm trying to open up this article. But yeah, one of these days, man, I'm going to binge the fuck out the office. 